Hello, welcome back to another The Elder Scrolls Online episode. I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay then, let's uh, keep it going. So, we have to go oh, further up north. Wait, can we actually get... Uh, there is a stable master over here. Can we get the next upgrade? Like the next mount upgrade? Oh, yeah, we can. A squire's job is... Okay, not you. I got a few Man, we're almost maxed out. 60% should be maxed out. Uh, what about this way? Wait, it's a dead end? No, it can't be a dead end. Wait, is this still active? I guess we can discover it to see when it's active. Because we've completed one, we know where the second one is. Do we know where the third one is though? I guess not. Probably it's up here somewhere. Messenger? From Aldcroft by any chance? What news from there? We heard reports that Camlorn refugees had inundated the town. That's good. Losing Camlorn was bad enough. Meanwhile, we've made significant progress here. Our research is finally beginning to yield results. The ghosts of the Alessian army still haunt this place. It's been an age since the battle of Glenumbra Moors raged here. Yet the spirits linger. Falchu, the beast that ravages Camlorn. He fought and died here. We want to know what happened all those years ago. Then we can kill him again. Sarveth, our master of Incanabula, hopes to evoke a vision that shows us the events surrounding Falchu's death. We're collecting the most powerful historic artifacts to use as focus objects. The spirits are making the task difficult, however. The generals of the Alessian army played a vital part in the Battle of the Glenumbra Moors. Their weapons, if still intact, would suffice, I think. So, this is our next main mission? Triple effect? Because I believe the other one didn't count, right? He knows what to do from there. Falchu wasn't called the invincible general for nothing. You can cut him, bash him, fill him full of arrows. It just keeps coming. We must discover how they stopped him and ended this ancient war. I could tell you the basic story, but if you want a deeper understanding, you need to ask our lore master. <laughs> lore master? She's up on the tower observing the movement of the spirits. Ripple effect. Now, which one is active at the moment? Is this one? It's supposed to be one active. It's the one that's missing. <laughs> the one that we didn't find. No Dureni shall get past these gates. Do you Can understand? I take the blade? No. Of course, the one that's active is the one that we haven't found yet. Like in Western Skyrim. Go around this. You all died like some dickheads in the middle of the way. They think they have an advantage, do they? Huh. Wait until no. their plan crumbles around. Another blade? Grab the there's two sky shots here. What? That 
can't be. It's only one, right? Felt you as tall as a tree with claws like great swords. What? Yes, yes, and he brings <laughs> yes, yes. True poses has been greatly exaggerated. Poor fool wouldn't know a moth from a mammoth. Ah, the focus objects. These will do very nicely. Let me just, uh, hmm. I don't think that was supposed to come off. Well, these swords are pretty beat up. I'm sure we'll still have plenty of material for the ritual, though. If all goes well, we'll be able to peer into the past. Hopefully see what happened to Fal Chu. Find out how the Durenis were able to defeat the Alessians so long ago. And if something goes wrong, well, then we shall see what we shall see. Of course, we'll be using the amalgamated essence of the past, focus with these ancient weapons to open a sort of window into history. Follow me. Now we may finally learn how Fal Chu was defeated. And maybe we'll find out how tall the Horker really was. Oh, hold up. Need another of those. Listen to me. You must listen. Giuliano's little teapot. We did it, I think. The spell worked better than I anticipated. We didn't just create a window into the past. We opened a door. The very air ripples with temporal disturbance. Somewhere nearby, a door into history stands open. All we need to do is step through it. A fragment from the past, I think. Something that was pulled forward with the spell. Let's hope that was all we pulled forward. Someone brave and rash enough has to actually step through the door we opened. I'm too valuable to get lost in the past. And Begroon would probably change history with all his usual bumbling about. Ask Grala what she thinks we should do. We heard a scream, and then ripples of magical distortion started to sweep across the battlefield. What happened? They were supposed to cast a simple divination spell, nothing yeah. more. Sarveth wasn't supposed to open any doorways. I don't like this. Time magic shouldn't be meddled with. But what's done is done. Maybe one of those ripples has the answers we seek. Examine the ripples. See if there really is a doorway of some kind out there. And keep an eye out for anything else out of the ordinary. Who knows what they may have pulled out of the past. Oh, there we go. He's active. Oh, hello there. He's actually about to start. See, it's nice that they've added those uh, things. We just look at the map.
The recipe. The skins of those you love will fly as my path. Mm, weapon and spell damage. This could be useful. Who knows, right? Okay, so let's continue our uh, main mission here. Ripple effect. You seek to see into the past. I can guide you. I can show you how Fao Chu met his death. Set it ablaze! I remember this place. It all started here on the day of the final battle. Mm -hmm. We gave up everything to kill Foul Chu. I'll be but dead if I just let him come back to life and curse the world again. I'm here because the one I loved gave up everything that day to save his people. You seek answers. I'm here to help you find them and hopefully avoid the tragedy that occurred on that long ago day. This armor is your key to the past. It belonged to my beloved and was buried in this place of honor. It was my beloved's hand that cut Bao Chu down. You'll relive the last moments of the battle. You'll take the place of my beloved. Experience the fall of Bao Chu as it happened. But be careful. You can affect events. Whatever you do may have untold consequences. You won't just see a vision of the past. You'll live through it. What you do may change the destiny of those around oh. <laughs> you. Oh. This is a terrible burden to carry, but it's the only way to get the information you seek. When you're ready, put on the armor. Oh, this armor brings back such memories. Now get dressed. There's much to see, and the connection to the past won't last long. When Fao Chu dies, the armor will eject you from the past. You'll return unharmed to the here and now. Yes, that's what will happen. I'm sure of it. It was a violent, bloody time. The Alessians were on a holy crusade to purge every myrrh who occupied this land and called it home. They destroyed anything with even the smallest connection to magic. Would you stand by while those who didn't deserve to die were judged by religious zealots? Unless I strongly misjudged you, I think not. We did what was right. And we would do it again, which is why I'm here. Wise, kind, courageous. Everything one could want from a constant companion. But you'll see soon enough. I only hope that what you learn will help you in the present situation. Mm, right, okay. That was uh, the quest ripple effect. Quite an interesting one. <laughs>